Hello and welcome to the channel. I am here for a top five uh, video for you guys. So this is going to be part two to uncommon metalhead facts about me. So yeah, you guys ready to make fun of me again? <laughs> Anyways, um, I figured that I would do a part two to this uh, video. Um, if you guys have not seen the first part, uh, because I realized I had made the first part quite a while ago. If you have not seen that, I encourage you to you know go check that out before checking out this video. This is just going to be five more um, uncommon metalhead facts about me and just some stuff about me that doesn't exactly make me very metal, you could say. So, yeah, uh, if you see me looking at my laptop like this, that means I'm looking at my list because I have my list right here. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, of course, begin with number five. Now, number five is that Metallica was not one of my first metal bands. Now, yes, believe it or not, Metallica was not a band that I got into till uh, a little bit later. But I would like to make a disclaimer. Uh, Metallica was actually my first uh, classic heavy metal band because, well, obviously one of the reasons why that I didn't get into Metallica during my, you know, really early years into getting into metal is because, well, I wasn't really into the classics um, until a little bit later. I got into Metallica in 2016. That's when I really uh, started to have a more open mind to the classics. So, yeah, um, I gave no time or chance to, you know, the classic era of metal or, you know, classic thrash metal like Metallica or anything uh, before I even gotten into them. So, yeah, believe it or not, they were not one of my first metal bands. Um, but... I know some people might say, well, if you did, if they weren't one of your first uh, metal bands, then don't even bother getting into them. But actually, I don't agree with that. Um, I I don't think it's too late for anyone to check out Metallica. I mean, if you're someone that's hasn't checked out much Metallica or is not a fan of them yet, I'd still say it's not too late. I'd still say give them a chance and try to get into them because they're still a great band. But believe it or not, they were not one of my first metal bands. Um, obviously, I started off with uh, Metalcore, but I'll get into that later on. So, number four, number four is that Slipknot was not one of my first metal bands. Oh boy, um, this is another uh, uncommon uh, metalhead fact about me for sure. Because um, I do feel like when most people get into Slipknot, it is during their early days of getting into metal, just like with Metallica. Um, but, you know, new Metal was something I was very close-minded to, and still kind of am. I think new Metal is still a subgenre that's um, very hit or miss for me, I think. Um, sometimes I can either find it very enjoyable, and then there are times where I find it pretty obnoxious. But uh, Slipknot is probably my favorite new Metal band of all time, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, I think they're a great band, though. Um, this is a band that does get a lot of heat from people, I think. Um, but yeah, they were not one of my first metal bands. Um, it's, it's kind of shocking for me personally to see that, you know, when a lot of people mention their first metal bands, uh, Slipknot is one of the bands on their list. I don't know. Like, I, I just kind of picture myself, you know, getting into them during my early days of getting, uh, being into metal and I personally can't see it. I mean, for a number of reasons, you know, um, they were, uh, pretty heavy for a mainstream band, I think, but... Yeah, they were not one of my first, and like I said, I, like I said about Metallica, I don't think it's too late for you if you haven't, you know, do, uh, dove deeper into Slipknot yet, because uh, they're a great band as well. I really like their newest album, All Hope, um, not All Hope is Gone, uh, We Are Not Your Kind, sorry about that, um, but yeah, definitely a fantastic band, um, so yeah, this is definitely one that I had to mention. All right, so we're here at number three. Now, at number three, oh boy, this one might sting a little bit. <laughs> number three is that metalcore is one of my favorite subgenres of metal. This is one I know that a lot of people are going to be like, what? You know, <laughs> um, maybe not some of you, because I don't think I attract too much of an audience of, you know, people that hate on metalcore. Um, and personally, I can't understand the hate for metalcore. I really can't. I mean... I can understand the hate for maybe newer metalcore, you know, bands that formed in the latter portion of the 2000s and the 2010s, but, like, to hate on bands like Killswitch Engage and As I Lay Dying and, you know, uh, bands like them, I, 
I just can't see it. Like, what I don't see what's the hate to even about um, those bands. But now, obviously, uh, As I Lay Dying may get some hate, but that's obviously for a different reason. Not because they're metalcore, but... Yeah, metalcore is nonetheless a subgenre that does get a lot of hate from the metal community. I know there's a lot of memes and a lot of people that make fun of it. Now, like I said, I can understand if you hate on, you know, newer metalcore because newer metalcore does lack originality and it's... Metalcore has just gone this emo route, I think. It's gone this really edgy scene. Like, they're catering to the crowds that shop at Hot Topic and Spencer's and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I can understand hating on, you know, that specific era of this subgenre. But, you know, the early 2000s bands, I mean, there there's great bands that formed in this uh, subgenre for sure. And uh, Demon Hunter was the first, uh, or at least one of the first metal bands that I've gotten into. I consider them my first um, metal band that I've gotten into. And Metalcore was pretty much my gateway whenever I uh, first got into metal. So there you go. Um, and I think a part of that has to do with why it's one of my favorites, because, well, without this subgenre, I probably wouldn't have gotten into metal. Um, and if you're still kind of, eh, about metalcore, like you're just not crazy about it, please give it another chance, especially the early 2000s bands. It's definitely a lot of great material, uh, from those bands then. So, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to number two. Now, number two, this one is extremely unpopular, maybe one of the most unpopular metalhead facts about me, so buckle up. <laughs> and at number two is that I am actually not into death metal. Some of you are like, that's it, don't even be a metalhead, go listen to Katy Perry, you chicken, you know, like, <laughs> um, it's it's true though, like, I'm not really the biggest fan of this subgenre, death metal. Now... I would like to make a disclaimer. That's not to say that I don't think there's any, there's no such thing as a good band in this subgenre. There's definitely a lot of uh, talented uh, musicians in this uh, subgenre. I think, like, I think the band Death is really good. Um, I think they're really uh, the only band in this subgenre that I can actually like. Like, now, maybe that has to do with them being a pioneer. Sure. Uh, I do think, uh, you know, when it comes to subgenres of any genre of metal, it is usually the pioneers that do it best, I think. But, yeah, um, Death is, like, really the only band that I'm really into into this uh, in the subgenre as a whole. But for the most part, it's just not for me, you know. Um, a lot of it just lacks melody, and a lot of it is just, you know, too intense or something, like, I don't know, and the production is, isn't very good, um, at least with most bands. Now, production isn't everything, I do understand that, but I don't know. You know how it is. It's kind of like the same reason why a lot of people don't get into certain subgenres that they can't get into. I personally can't get into death metal, or at least most death metal, but yeah, um, it's just not a subgenre for me. But, yeah, I know that's incredibly unpopular because I feel like, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, this subgenre is basically a necessity if you want to be a metalhead. But, you know, for me personally, no. And you have to think about uh, how people in the 1980s did it. You know, death metal wasn't a thing till the late 80s. And, you know, there, you have to think about, you know, what were metalheads listening to, you know, during the early 80s, you know, when that didn't even exist, you know. That's something you got to think about as well. But yeah, death metal, it's a subgenre I'm not into as a whole, but sorry about that. But the reason that I'm not into death metal is because, or at least one of the biggest reasons why I'm not into it, uh, because I don't want to say it's the main reason, but one of the biggest reasons why that I am not into death metal is because of number one. Number one is that I prefer singing over screaming. This one is incredibly unpopular for a lot of metal fans and believe it or not there was actually a point where uh this wasn't the case with me there was actually a couple of years ago i wouldn't have had this opinion uh there was a point where i did prefer screaming over singing uh mainly in the days when i was into like mellow death of course but obviously a lot has changed since then you know um and a lot of that does have to do with you know me preferring you know the classic era of metal over the um modern era. I mean, 
I think we can stop playing around. I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, yes, I do prefer, you know, the classic uh, style of metal over the modern style. And I'm sure a lot of people, you know, walked away from my channel or think that I sold out, you know, to the mainstream based on that idea. But no, it's just my preference these days. And I just learned to have an appreciation for, you know, that particular era. And I think a lot of people should as well. But, you know, I really just found myself preferring, you know, singing over screaming anyway. And, you know, there's a lot of people today that still think that the majority of what I listen to is still the stuff that I've, you know, uh, binged on back in the day, like two years ago. There's still people today that just assume that I mostly listen to super brutal heavy stuff. But uh, occasionally, sure, but most of the time, not really. Um, I prefer, you know, bands that, you know, that formed in the 80s and the 70s and even 90s. But, yeah, um, it's something that I feel is very unpopular with the metal community because I feel like most metalheads, every day, they have to have some sort of, you know, harsh vocals um, every day, you know. For me personally, it's not something that I feel is essential for me, you know. I can go a week without listening to, you know, a modern band or, you know, a band that doesn't require harsh vocals. Now, I know that might, you know, blow the minds of some people and some metal fans, but I don't know. Um, it's something that I feel is, well, unpopular. But yeah, um, and ever since I got into classic, uh, the, the classic style of metal back in 2016, like I said before with Metallica, um, it's something that I just learned to have an appreciation for, and it's what I prefer these days. And I honestly have no intention in getting into any more uh, bands that formed in the modern era. Now, that's not to say that I'm done with, you know, uh, modern metal completely or anything, but I basically have all the modern metal I need uh, when it comes to the bands that I'm into, at least. You know, if bands like Killswitch Engage uh, come out with an album, which is a 2000s band, sure, you know, I'll check out the album and probably pick up the album since I like almost everything that they have to offer and they're a band that uh, does use mostly harsh vocals or at least you know have an even combination but yeah I do prefer cleans over screams not sure if a lot of you guys can relate to that but I feel like that for me personally is very unpopular with the metal community but yeah there you go guys that is my uh, top five uh, most un uncommon metalhead facts about me part two like I said if you haven't seen the first part definitely go check that out um, but let me know what you guys think is there any more uh, uncommon metalhead facts about yourselves that you can think of and just let me know all that stuff let me know what you guys think of my list so with that being said thanks for watching have a nice day and take care